Alright guys, today I've got a video here. It's going to be on my LG G-Pad 8.3 inch tablet. And we're going to show you guys how to install Sygen Mod or CM11 on this device, which is going to be your KitKat operating system, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me go over a couple prerequisites with you guys before I do that. Um, what you're going to need to do first is go ahead and get a custom recovery installed. But I'm just going to show you what I'm running right here right now. Uh, if I go into software, right here's my build number is JDQ39B. Software version is the V510, well 500 or 5000, what would that be? It would be 50,010A. I guess if you want to look at it that way. So that's what I've got right here. Um, so custom recovery, uh, well, how that works is you're going to go ahead and get uh, root access on your device. You're going to go ahead and install Twerp Recovery with uh, Loki Hack in it. And I have videos on both those steps. So if you want to get it to the point where you need to be to set this up, check out my playlist on this or go to rootjunkie.com and you'll be able to find the videos you need to do to get to the right point where we're at here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download the files you need. And I'll give you guys links to them. I put mine on my external SD in the CM11 folder. And right there you can see the CM11 ROM. And then you can see I actually have PA Gaps stock. It's just the KitKat version of Google Applications. So that's what I've got right there. That's what I'm using. You can use any KitKat version of the Google Applications. It should work fine. So that being said, um, that's what I'm working with right here, and then we're going to get into recovery. So you can get into recovery manually, or you can do it this way. This is just the easy way to do it. I like to use this little app over here called Quick Reboot, and just go to Reboot to Recovery, and it should boot you right into recovery. So there you go. That's the little thing you're going to see when you boot into recovery once you have the Loki hack installed with Team One Recovery Project or Twerp. So that's what you're seeing right here and boom you're in recovery first thing you want to do anytime you get into recovery before you flash anything before you do anything to your device is make an android backup so we're going to go ahead and do that um, make sure everything is checked it's highly recommended up here you can change your backup name so i always put that in there and then i always put um this is automatically puts in the date and the build number i always like to put it in stock also just so that i know it's the stock rom um, and then hit go and then you can pick your storage location. So you have internal or SD card if you have a micro SD card installed. I like to put everything on my micro SD card, so that's what I've got selected. Once you're there, go ahead and swipe across and create your Nandroid backup. So we're going to let this Nandroid backup run. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and get into installing CM11 on our device. A couple things I want to point out to you guys on when you're running a backup here is your total size is up there listed uh, of the backup and this is about two and a half gigs for a stock backup and then available space is also listed and then the last thing I want to point out here is the amount of time it took and for my backup to make a stock system backup it took 358 seconds so divide that by 60 and you get your minutes so it does take some time so you gotta be patient um, while you're running a backup. Now right here you see it says reboot system. We don't want to do that because we want to install CM11. So we're just going to go back, go back again, and now we're into our system. I'll show you right here. If you go to restores, you can see I actually have two different restores. They're just dated differently. That's really the only difference um, with our restores right here. And actually, looks like their date is a little, a little funkied up, but Anyway, not too big a deal. I can tell which one's newer just by looking at the numbers. But there you go. I've got uh, the backups right there. So they're there if you ever need to get back to stock system or you just like it better or whatever. But now we're going to go ahead and install um, CM11. So go ahead and first we're going to go to wipes. And what this does is this wipes cache, um, data, and Delvic. So it wipes all three of those really quick and it gives you a clean uh, space to do an install. If you're installing this through Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, obviously you'd select all three of those when you do your you know, pre-wipe stuff. But this does it all in one shot. You can also go to Advanced and um, you know, pick them like that, but it's just easier just to do what is already preset, and it even says it right up here on top. 
So go ahead and swipe across. That does your little factory reset. And you can go back. And you can actually hit back here. You can always hit the home button over there. That also gets you back to this main screen. So now we have a clean slate to do our install of CM11. So we're going to go to install. And actually, this brings me right to my external uh, SD card first. And you can see CM11 folder right there. So we're going to pick it. And then we're going to select the ROM right here. And then we're going to add a zip. And we're going to select the Google applications right there. And you should say right here, file 2 of 10 max. That means you've selected two files and you're about to flash them. You can flash up to 10 files with one flash, which is pretty cool. Never done more than two, though, myself. But if you have it, it's usable. So we're going to go ahead and swipe across. And this is going to go ahead and install Saigen mod for us. So CM11 will get installed. We'll be running uh, KitKat Android 4.4.2. So that's going to be a cool update for this device for sure. I'm pretty excited to see how this thing runs. This ROM is technically unofficial. Um, it's not officially from CyanogenMod, but they use the exact same source, and they just make it so it runs on this device. So it is CyanogenMod. It's just not officially supported by uh, CyanogenMod. So you can see Google Applications are already installing. It installed the ROM very, very quickly, and boom, done. So very fast install. Really, really nice. Last thing I always do at the end is go ahead and wipe cache Delvic and swipe across, go back, and you should be ready to rock and roll here. So we're going to go ahead and do a reboot system. And while this is rebooting, I just want to talk to you guys really quick about um, this setup. Nope, there we go. We got Mod. So here you go. Mod 11 is booting up. And what I want to tell you guys about um, installing ROMs in general. So this process you just saw is pretty much exactly the same for any install through Twerp Recovery, any ROM. The only difference you're really going to have is if you're going to have to flash the Google applications. So most, if there's a stock ROM, you're probably only going to flash the ROM. If it's something custom like Mod, you're probably going to flash the ROM plus the Google applications. But all you got to do is whatever thread you found the ROM on, on XDA or wherever it is, you just read through the directions for installing and just follow the process. It's very simple. Pretty much everything installs almost exactly like I just, just showed you guys. So we're going to let this boot up. First boot up. Shouldn't take too long. Probably max five minutes. If it takes longer than five minutes, I would go ahead and um, reboot into recovery with the button sequence. If you've watched my other videos, you can see that. And then go ahead and restore your backup and you'll be back and running and then you can figure out why your ROM didn't install. It may be a bad download, who knows what. So here you go, you can see we already booted up. That was actually pretty quick, about what, a minute and a half or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and skip through this setup. Just so I can show you guys the ROM. Finish the setup procedure. And just kind of boot through the little startup stuff and shabam, there is Saigen Mod on your device. Very, very cool. Very, very slick. Should have all the little fun toggles. Let's go ahead and go into settings. And yeah, here you go. Here's all your interface stuff. So you got your lock screen, all their cool settings, interface, yep, all of its stuff. Yep, quick settings, status bars, all that kind of goodies. Themes, you can go ahead and down themes from the Google Play Store, which is very, very nice. And then we'll shoot all the way down here. There's super super user built into the ROM. Nothing currently asking for super user rights. And then go into tablet, and there it is, Android 4.4.2, which should be, if we click on it, there you go, there's the K, and shabam! There is the uh, KitKat right there. Newest version of Android on your LG G-Pad 8.3. Super, super awesome. Excited about that. Let's go ahead and check out the application drawer. And you can see you got Apollo, DSP Manager, CM File Browser over there. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, most of your Google applications. Terminal Emulator, Wallet, Google Wallet right there, YouTube. As always, uh, pretty standard with the Google application packet that I installed. Um, very, very cool. Definitely digging it. Um, looks like it's running real, real smooth. You can see all your little toggles here. If you go into interface tweaks, this is where the fun happens, really. And this is where you can go in and change, like, all kinds of crazy stuff on this tablet. Um, and just, just do all your fun little tweaking uh, on the device. 
other than that, the rest of these are not too many, too much on here. The other thing I like to enable is I like to come in here and turn on, um, go to build number and just tap on it a bunch of times and turn on developer options. And then in developer options right here, you've got to turn on, you can turn on right here, advanced reboot menu. And what that does is that gives you guys, if you hold down power, you can go to reboot and now you can reboot right into recovery or bootloader mode um, very easily, which is just really nice. I love that feature on this thing, so I always turn that on. The other thing by turning on developer options, you also turn on performance. And now you can come in here and you can adjust your processor, which is pretty slick. And you can adjust your min-max speeds, your governors, um, all that kind of goodies in here. Uh, along with I.O. schedulers and all that kind of stuff. And you can change and modify all that by turning on developer options. So definitely one of my favorite things to do. I'm not going to go through too much more on Siege in Mod 11. Um, definitely really customizable. You can do some fun things with it, uh, which, are, which, are, which are just really fun. So you can see some wallpapers in here, a bunch of stuff that comes on it. But uh, very, very cool launcher. Definitely digging it. Uh, really love side on any of my devices. It's an excellent, excellent custom ROM. So that's pretty much it. That's it. You got CM11 Android 4.4.2 KitKat on your LG G Pad 8.3. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more on this device, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.